Hello everyone, we're gonna try our new deck which we just crafted. Corrupt the waters. Oh, it looks so empty now. It was empty at some of our. We could get rid of the pirate rogue as well, actually. Actually, there is a good uh, pirate deck. Uh, so we might keep that. We've got the burgle rogue, we've got the pirate rogue, and we've got the combo, which is like the water rogue sort of variation. Midrange Hunter, maybe if we get Zuljan, maybe we'll keep Midrange Hunter. Token Druid, that's our staple. I'm not sure how good it is anymore. Boomsday, we might do a Taunt Warrior. Let's just write in the names of the other. Yeah, so we want Taunt Warrior. Let's see if there's an archetype already. Like the system uh, dropping the boom. Uh, this is the one I kept countering before. Yeah. Okay, there's a Taunt Warrior and what quest paladin <laughs> it's funny this this is the Sifindi of the Sands deck as opposed to the, the quest one okay wow I've almost got all the cards for a secret paladin but a secret paladin's rubbish I might get subject 9 looks it fits in with quite a few different decks the mage Secret Mage and uh, Secret Hunter. Okay, so we're going to call this one Quest Paladin. Okay, done. No, okay. And are there any more Taunt Warrior, Quest Paladin, Rogue Druid Priest? Wall of, just adapt our zoom wall up for that. Okay, yeah, that's okay for the time being. Okay, we've even got the Zale and the Wiz Band deck in there. Right. Okay, anyway, so we're playing. Let's, let's practice in, in casual first, see how well it works. Uh, definitely want to have our deck tracker up with a new deck which we're not familiar with This is two lackeys, uh, two battle cries, that's three. And um, we'll keep the life drinker. We'll keep that for burst later on. Okay, that's not too bad. It draws us a spell. Okay. Nice one to have that one now. Greetings. I greet you. So next turn we could play the lackey and uh, uh, the sludge sludge slurper and the lackey. Nice. Bulk slush is really good because that's effectively just a bit more of an expensive uh, Shadow Step, yes, yeah, so if we want to replay things, we want to replay a Shadow, shadow Walk or replay a Swamp Queen Hagatha. I think we should be having a second book session right now. I think 
drum cards more importantly. Yeah. Play the Pog Slasher followed by this. We'll get to we might get lucky and get two shadow rocks, who knows? Just gonna keep playing this I guess. One minute, this is a one drop, okay, so we'll just upgrade this, I guess. Okay, <coughs> we're gonna finish our quest turn five. Or maybe not. Actually, we'll, we'll coin this out. <clears throat> Stormbringer. Mm. Quest completed effectively. It's going to die if it trades in. Okay. Not in too much of a rush. Okay, that's really good. Go rush this in, box rush out, and then play the battle cry second time. Now, would that mean that? Could I give the Shadow Rock all four of them, give them the Rush and the Taunt? May I play the, the Rush and the Divine Shield first, and then play the Taunt and the Fury? Alright, interesting. Interesting, you left it out. Yeah. I want to be able to play this next turn. Next turn, this is going to give me nine, ten. Okay. Okay. See, a bloodless could work for the lackeys, and that's cheating. That's why we're looking for. This one turned out. This one here. Let's play the same out. Look up a couple of these. Five damage the next turn we could get close I guess. Wounds of the south come to my aid.
close to Putin's quest now. Come on, play the mechanical work, Robin. Play the whelp, play the whelp. Okay, good. That exp yeah, exposes him to full clear now. Hopefully we'll get another mechanical well. And it's... okay, that's fine. Okay, fine. Actually, I could, I could just hex. I could hex this and then do lightning storm. That's also fine. Double lightning storm. Live we should have saved the the box slasher for the live drinker actually. Never thought of that, okay. So he's got two big mizzy, got seven drop and a potentially ten drop maximum there. Could could hex this. See what we get out of this. out of this. Yes, I think I definitely want a second box of the show. This should kill him, no? I'm sure that was a mistake there. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Divine Shield. We don't need a taunt on the Shadow Works, right? Ah, oh, we get double the arm. What's it got over there already? Ah, ah, I forgot what I put on it. Put a wind fury we need. I get the taunt as well. Yeah, okay, fine. I guess it's got a board clear of some sort. the damage so I'm gonna play the two horrors here. 
Double back right. That's interesting that that's the board clear. Um Eureka doesn't do much. Drawing cards a bit too much, I've already got that here. Let's use this as a board clear. <sighs> so if you overplays here, if you place five minions, I can steal two of them. Which is nice. I guess it's gonna trade this, trade that, and not play anything else. That's incredible. Hmm. This is looking like it's turning to a value game more than anything here. Why isn't my whole deck up here yet? That's annoying. Right. Check the options in my deck tracker. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to go for this. I'm going for it. Here we go. Engaging TC-130. Mental dislocator. And it's a big tool. Okay. I can't do double shovel work because I used up my coin. Mm, I should be thinking about that, but... It's a real attrition game here. I've got another life drink in my day. Shadow could be really, really strong here. Yes, I've got my Earth Shock. Silence this, play Earthquake, and I've cleared the board. Seven damage. It just lines up too well here. That's Earth Shock and Earthquake. There you go. Draw too many cards here. Don't draw too many cards. I want to play the other life drinker before I play the shadow work. Problem is, as soon as I play shadow work, it's just going to clear the board. So it's essentially board clear now. A bit of removal. So I've got three removals: Shadow Rock, Hex, and Lightning Storm. All right, he's just giving up, yeah, because he wasn't happy the way I just cleared his board. Yep, yeah, I call that a, a success. Game one. Uh, let's play one more game. Uh, actually, well, before we do that, we're going to alter the deck a bit. We're going to alter the deck here. Why am 
I'm not able to access my let's have a quick look in standard shaman right, let's get rid of that get rid of that shaman wrap the waters let's call it something else I'm going to rename the deck West Shaman. Maybe call it Battle Cry Shaman. Yeah, Battle Cry Shaman sounds better. Yeah, Battle Cry Shaman. Yeah, okay. Right, so what do we want to play? I, I, th I think we're going to lose a walking fountain. We want to make everything synergize as much as we can. Earthquake. I think we'll keep Earthquake because of things like um, Token Druid and Mech Hunter with all the little uh, sticky minions. I think Earthquake is quite good. Which would Piper. I'm not sure Storm Chaser's got that much value. They did draw me my Hagatha, which is quite important. We definitely want another Box Slusher there. If we don't have one, I think I'm going to craft one. Box Slusher, yeah, we're ready to go. Yeah, so we'll take two of them. Um, I think we'll take Electra. Electra is really good. That can give us a double lightning storm when we need, or double double earthquake. You can't envision needing that. Double Hagatha scheme. Maybe throw bloodlust in there. We put bloodlust in there. card draw, cheap card draw, you know, this is going to help me complete my quest, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, back quest just with these 4 minions, totem, so what about, we need 6, we have to work this out, statistically, we want 6 battle cries by turn 6, at turn 6 we have drawn 10 cards it's so likely we're going to have it's almost definitely we're going to have a, one of these so we just need basically 3 if we've got even something which is the, in the form of champ could do it the so bloodlust instead of the um, stormbringer. Yeah. Card draw. We want to keep the card draw here. The card draw here. Which would kind of make sense. Let's just check if there's any battle cry minions which I really, really want. Like some really good ones. I mean, that's not bad. Give me a spell. Discover battle cry minion. I got a feeling I'm gonna end up putting in a, in a city on Swamp Cruise, maybe even a Thingy Jones, whatever it's called. Harrison Jones. So 
there's a new card which is out of damage. I really found how many how many uh, minis do we have here actually? I think it's okay as it is, to be honest. Shuffling three portals in that does help me with the port control, doesn't it? I can imagine using double heckle, but it's very double edged. We try that Drake's just to give our shadow a bit more health. Strong. We've got to say four cards. Is it even three cards? It's going to be a 10 10. Seven mana 10 10. Later on, again, not so strong. Six portals into my deck. That looks pretty strong. And then you've got Unseen Saboteur. The opponent casts a random spell with the deck. This could absolutely destroy someone's deck. Spells are so essential for certain decks. Imagine plot twist. Friendly minion four four. That could be ridiculously strong minions. If, if I'm looking for big minions, I want to basically be playing the rogue innkeeper and uh, Frostworth Warlord. I could drop one of my chief minions. This I want to combo generally with life drinkers. So I've got basically four life drinkers. So when I play Shadow it could be eight life drinkers, which is three times eight is 24 damage potentially, maximum. Maybe only one evil totem, I guess. Maybe one cable wrap. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Let's put one of these in. And let's put that in. Yeah, this or Oh, let's put that in just for fun. Well, th this could do 10, 10 damage. So that 10. This is a pyroblast. This is a pyroblast with a minion. <laughs> That's crazy. 10 damage. How good is Pyroblast there? Uh, we'll keep the Heroic Innkeeper. Give us a big taunt. That's a bit late game there. In fact, the Shadow Walk's going to copy it, that's the thing. We end up with a massive Shadow Walk, that's for sure. We could end up with a, a taunt if I had the Dragon in hand with the Shadow Walk. Alright, uh, okay, it's a bit late game. Well, I'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Alright. So let's see how the deck works now. We've been a bit more greedy with the deck. 
see how it goes, and let's hopefully see if it's recognized by the deck tracker. Hopefully it is. Well, yeah, it looks like it is recognized. Let's see if it's going to bring up the deck. Should do. There you go. Yeah. There we go. We'll keep the sea light in the heart. So we've got turn 2 cable, evil cable rat. Don't have the coin unfortunately, so no double shuttle work shenanigans. My, uh, my quest, which I got. He's got my free quest. Okay, so let's see whose quest is better. Love that dude. Yeah. means he's he should have traded first, get himself a bit of damage. Alright, so yes, I've kind of run out of steam here, unless I use my life drinker. Even that's and you can give me one of my Turn seven, play this into that. You see, when you kill it, it only has one health remaining, but it's, it's treated as a damage move. I see. Very quick uh, completion of the quest there. That's quite good. It gives them. It's hard to get rid of it. Yeah, it's very clever. Uh, at least I've got Earthquake next go. This, this is why you have Earthquake. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is going to be such a beautiful turn. Flooding the board. Let's do this. Um, that's why we take the earthquake. Reborn against. That's why I think Shaman. Maybe I'll take another earthquake. Because if I'm if I come across these sort of uh, decks. 
a shaman is accounted to reborn the winds. Just because of the earthquake. Interesting. Might have to hex something soon, but I think my uh my control tech. Mind control tech next, and then hero power life drinker. That was a mistake. <laughs> okay. Uh, not complaining there. Not complaining there. He's almost definitely going to do this unless he's got something else. Play something else. Play another minion. Play another minion. That's two minions. Oh, come on. Really? He knows I've got mind control tech. He knows it. Fury, Divine Shield, uh, I guess it all. Why not? A woman, does it? Uh, it's just a copy, right? Nice. Shadow Wax can have all of that. Try another minion, please. No, he's very good. He knows what he's doing. Okay. Another earthquake, unfortunately, but I don't have one. Ah, this could be a mistake. This could be a mistake. if you trace this in. One in four. It's one in four time spot.
It only takes one, that's right. Um, got 12 damage on board here. This is a bit too dangerous, isn't it? I don't think anything else helps, so that's a problem. Let's see what happens if we put this back to hand. Is this actually a reborn minion now? It's really interesting. I don't know how that interaction works. That's incredible. Probably got Shivan in there somewhere with all. Uh, no, actually, no, it doesn't have enough space. Okay. I think we do this now. for me effectively so I'm glad I included that now but let's see what else happens. I guess he's trading the big one in, okay? Yeah, I think yeah, another earthquake. If I'm facing reborns, then I think yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. So we found something out here. We didn't get the shadow walk. Shadow walk would have made a big difference. So maybe, maybe a tiny bit of card draw. Maybe the witch will pipe. It was a good idea. Have to think about that. Maybe which will piper in? Take out a first wolf warlord. Maybe put another earthquake in. They haven't got one earthquake in my deck so far. Okay, so we'll stop here and yeah, maybe we'll come back with some refinements on this deck. Looks like a lot of fun though, this deck. Yeah, and uh, well, well, maybe next video we'll make our uh, quest paladin. They look pretty strong there against me. Uh, it's all value at the moment, it's amazing. I have to see whether this Zoo Warlock is going to be a super strong deck. Alright, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.